Oh, How do you feel about today's passage? Mm. So, I mean, it was calling for low 20s gusts and like 15 knots or so uh, throughout the day sustained, but we're getting uh, up to 25 knot gusts. We keep changing our plans on what we're gonna do, but instead of going all the way down like Huron, we're gonna stop midway, try to wait for the wind and waves to die off throughout the night and then continue on the Sarnia Marina area down at the bottom of Lake. Yes, you got a ladybug, I see that. So make it down to Sarnia tomorrow after the wind dies down and we'll hang out in an anchorage about almost midway down. I just got a funny feeling I'm gonna be cleaning a lot of puke today. <laughs> I gave Coral a gravel, so we'll see if, if that helps. She had a good breakfast. And maybe she's gonna sleep and it won't be too, too bad. But, ah, uh, we're more chickens now with kids. <laughs> well, I gotta say, I love our new enclosure and I really love our foul weather gear. I'm gonna be nice and comfortable while picking up Hank. <laughs> Bon appétit! Lunchtime! Delicious! C'est quoi que tu fais, Coral? Essayes-tu de tourner la winch? Non! Ah, C'est juste papa qui fait ça! Wow, what a beautiful sail. I was super nervous leaving this morning because the wind was howling and I didn't want Coral to be sick. She even went to pee on the pot, on the potty downstairs while we were sailing. This is amazing. She's doing amazing right now. The gravel seems to be actually working. And gosh, it's a beautiful day out here. Super mom over here is breastfeeding and steering the boat on a downwind sail. Not the easiest of jobs. No, oh, that's hard. <laughs> while, while dad's trying to clean up Coral's mess of juice. Hey, did you make a mess, sweetie? We? Oui? Did you lose your balance? Oh, oui. we. That's okay. getting gnarly out here. A little stressful actually. The boat's kind of, it, it's whipping around and I really have to go like directly downwind and directly down the waves really to not make that happen. If I go any bit side to the waves it just goes crazy. Oh, 
Okay, you can't see that at all, but thank God it looks <laughs> calm over there. Oh, the last day since we jived has just been super rolly and not the nicest sailing. The coral wasn't sick at all, and I'm so excited. We're almost at anchor, and it looks calm. We were worried with this fall. It's already so much calmer, just a little bit behind this point. Oh, look at that. It's flat. <laughs> yes. Yes. Arrivé! You did it! High five! Oh, pound it! Bam! You're such an awesome sailor! Okay. 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 I am tired this morning, leaving early because it's a long day and I still got a bunch of stuff to put away. Corey is pulling up anchor while the kids are sleeping and while I'm tidying up a bit of stuff. It's really calm, so hopefully I get I'll get thrown around while getting going. We have about the five miles to go today, and we're out of Lake Huron. <sighs> Early morning. super steep and back to back from yesterday so it might be a good day but right now there's like no wind we've got one knot Ugh. oh you're gonna have sticky hands and cakes coral is loving daddy time today and i'm loving coral time putting a few more miles in the motor than what we were hoping for based on what we were planning based on the weather. Getting almost no wind that's supposed to be 10 to 15 right now, up to 20 knots later, but um, I'm not gonna hope for that anymore. So I think today's rest of the journey, well, pretty much, it's almost like 80 miles or so, 80 nautical 85. miles, 85 nautical miles, will likely be all motoring. So we're certainly testing out the engine before the Erie Canal, which is a good thing, but I'd love to be able to sail. Oh well. We've currently got about six knots on the beam, the opposite direction that it was calling for. But hey, it's all good. We'll deal with it. We get to motor at a good speed comparing to on Wild Lane Trepid 1. So, you know what? I can't complain. And it's a beautiful day out here. Not too bumpy. Nobody's sick. And I've got my little co-captain here, hanging out. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me more. Uh, oh. Uh, yeah. Are you a talkative baby? Uh, 
Yeah. Look at you. You're such a smiley boy. I can't wait to get the Sarnia though and finally relax a little bit. It's been a, a bit of a go, go, go every day because the weather's been kind of supposedly supposed to be good. And actually up until today, it's been pretty accurate. So I, I really can't complain about the forecasting. See the bridge. I'm so excited to be there. Hoping for an autopilot. I hope this is the right marina. It's supposed to be. Yes, Carol. Yes. Yeah, this is here. Awesome. Seven feet. Six feet. Yeah, so we get seven feet. <laughs> this is a sketchy entrance. I don't like it. <laughs> oh, it's nerve wracking. All right, we think we're good though. We're good now. There's the mooring balls. We're back! Yeah. Wow. Going to explore Sarnia! There where they all started, we'll see if that's accessible. Adventure time! Everywhere we go, we have to go to the park for coral. You can do it! Alright, let's go for an adventure. I think we're just gonna go over on the other side of these rocks. Bye. See you soon. This one? Okay, let's try. You gonna throw it? Oh, I didn't get it. Your turn. You're falling asleep over there. I think she's out. <laughs> she's sleeping standing up. Are you okay, sweetie? We're trying to bridge fries. Yogi's bridge fries. Jeff uh, told us that food was pretty awesome under the bridge. So, and everyone apparently comes to get fries. So we have to do it. <laughs> and there's the bridge. Cora, are you, are you hungry? Oh, oh we. Which one do you want? This one? Okay. <laughs> It's okay, you can get them. <laughs> what kind do you have? Rose. Rose pink? It's cotton candy. <laughs> it is delicious. We're at the Albert's rolling lunch. Awesome ice cream. Bit of a rough morning. We are trying to get going because there's going to be a bit of a blow on this portion of the lake. 
and we're just gonna cover some ground because it's not the best holding for our type of anchor right now. Not but the, the oh, no. but the engine is not starting. Seems like it jump starts when or it turns over when I jump it, which means the batter. I'm pretty sure it means the battery is fine, and my wiring to there is good. Just my solenoid is toast, so I guess I gotta swap out the friggin' starter. I'm gonna see if it'll start now that I jumped it, because it just turned over for a second. Oh, this is so stressful. Like, why does this stuff have to have to happen when, like, you really need to get out of here? Like, it's been kind of being a little bit stubborn and not always starting, but then sometimes it starts perfectly. So I knew that it was on its way out, but of course it has to just kick the bucket completely when we really, really need to get out of here. Come on. Please, please, please. 